All right, so this is my summer pocket EDC. This is the shit I typically rotate through depending on what I'm doing or where I'm going while trying to keep it light during the summer months. Now brace yourself. It's about to get a little matchy matchy here because most of this stuff's titanium. It wasn't on purpose, it's just what I typically gravitate to. So, okay, first up is the clip with a K EDC suspension hook from Dapper Design, which I got through Urban EDC Supply. Uh, this is the titanium version, but it also comes in a blacked out aluminum version too, which is about $20 less. Personally, I don't like having keys in my pocket, so I'll either stash them in a bag if I have one with me, or I'll hang them off my waistband or belt loop, but every now and then I'll actually dangle them on the inside of my front pocket, which uses gravity to keep everything a little flatter and more organized against my leg than if they were just sitting bunched up at the bottom. Uh, anyways, it comes with a couple of black ends silver twist lock cable rings, which is nice, but what makes this little guy special is the built-in slip joint 440C steel knife blade with an adjustable pivot. So even if you're not into knives, this is actually a pretty rad alternative to using your bloody fingernails. My only complaint is that the pocket hook comes really really tight, so I had to spend some time bending it out a little just so I could slip it over the seam of my pockets or belt, but now it's perfect. Anyways, link for this and everything else in the video will be in the description. Next is this sweet new wall that I got a little while ago from Pioneer called the Molecule. Needless to say, it's minimalistic and looks dope. It comes in four different colors, mine's called Slate, and can fit up to six cards plus some folded cash. Now, I love this wallet, looks awesome and fits my needs perfectly, but the main reason is the materials and manufacturing. So get them dirty, put them through the wash, stuff as much shit in there as you can because they're built to break in, but not break apart, as they say on their website. <laughs> Really, really well-made and well-designed wallets from Pioneer, man. Highly recommended. Okay, next up is my favorite mini flashlight. Currently, this is the X1S from Mech Army. It's only 45 millimeters long. It's got a titanium casing, so it's super light at only 13 grams. It's impact and IPX8 water resistant. Features a Cree XPG2 LED, which gives us low and high mode of eight to 130 lumens that you adjust with the twist function. And when the included but rechargeable and user replaceable 10-180 battery dies, you just unscrew the cap, plug in a micro USB cable, wait an hour, and away you go. It's an awesome little flashlight I love using and having on hand. Now, even though the clip suspension hook comes with an itty bitty blade on it, it's still an itty bitty blade and it's still attached to my keys. So depending on what I'm doing or where I'm going, I do prefer to bring a little something extra with me. And so I'll often toss this in my pocket. This is the CRKT EROS 2. It's actually a really sweet little knife that I paid way too much for, but still love. It was designed by Ken Onion, who love him or hate him, He's a well-known knife maker. There is a three inch model of this knife with the same machine titanium scales, but this is the two inch model, which also has a plain stainless steel version for much less, and it's way easier to find. It's just not as lightweight and doesn't have the cool machine scales. Uh, it's a tip down carry frame lock flipper opening style blade made from Akuto plus steel, which is said to be a bit better than 440C steel by having slightly better edge retention while still being easy to sharpen. And it's riding on the IKBS ball bearing system, which means it opens and closes so smoothly it feels like you're rubbing butter between your fingers. Uh, it also means it's highly addictive to play with. Highly addictive. Sorry, now if I know I'm going to a party, actually we don't call them parties at my age anymore, we call them get togethers. So if I know I'm going to a get together, I'll grab the coolest looking EDC bottle opener I've ever seen and throw it on the keychain or just loose in my pocket. Uh, this is the Prize 64 from Quiet Carry. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It comes in a few different finishes, stone washed, black or raw titanium, which is what I have here. Doubles as a pry bar and triples as a bit driver in case you know, you happen to carry around driver bits with you. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty sweet looking, at least I think so. It works as intended, although that shouldn't be hard to do given the tasks it's intended for. All right, now let's say I don't need or want to bring an extra knife or bottle opener with me. I've already shown this in my last video, but the TPT slide, which I got directly from Big Eye Design, is something I'll slip in in my pocket instead because it's a five-in-one tool that has a utility blade and bottle opener. Well, it doesn't come with a utility blade. It actually comes with this funny unsharpened package opener slash camp fork insert that I replaced immediately with a blade. But anyways, uh, it's Titanium, of course, it comes in stone washed or matte black finish. It's got a little pry bar, a bit driver, and universal wrench if you take out the blade. Now, I use the absolute hell out of this thing. I've dropped it, abused it, slapped it around a little. I even spat on it and it's still going strong. I didn't actually spit on it, that's gross. Anyways, if you're not into knives like I am, this is actually a really good and most importantly, useful compromise. Now, something you might have seen hanging off the suspension clip earlier in the video is this sweet little keychain pillbox container, which I also got from Dapper Design. And I'll usually stash some mints or allergy pills in it. Sometimes I'll bring two of them with me so I can fill both with each. I mean, they're cheap as hell. Why not pick up a few, right? Okay, one piece of gear I 
always bring with me no matter what is my new number two carbon fiber pocket comb from the Chicago Comb Company. This is one of their newer releases and in my opinion, it's the best pocket comb in the world. Like I know it's just a comb, but because it's carbon fiber, there's no static electricity when you're combing through your hair. It's extremely durable, way more durable than the super popular and twice as expensive Kent combs I've already gone through multiples of now because they only last me a few months. Uh, the tines are deeper than any other pocket comb I found and have perfect spacing for beards, mustaches, or head hair. And they're smooth with ever so slightly rounded tips so you don't scratch your skin or damage your hair as you pull through. And it's got this little circle for the handle that makes it easy to pull out of your pocket. 100% recommend these combs. Love them. So I usually don't bring out pens with me unless it's work related, like if I need to write some shit down on the back of a business card or jot some notes down. Otherwise, it stays in the car or my office. But either way, this is the TI Pocket Pro, which I also got from Big Eye Design. It's a really popular pen in the EDC community for several reasons. It's titanium, <laughs> it looks great, accepts over a hundred different refills and telescopes to adjust for different sizes while using an auto-adjusting collet grip so the tip doesn't wiggle around when you write. It's a really nice pen and I love writing with it. My only regret is not getting the clicky version instead. I like clicky pens better than twisty ones. Gotta love my knowledge of pen terminology, eh? <laughs> okay, so it's summer. I like going outside to do things as people do, perfectly normal. So when I'm kayaking, yes, I kayak, or taking the dogs for a walk, or going for a hike, or even hiding in a bush so I can jump out and scare people as they walk by. I like listening to music, you know, as people do. So lately I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus for one main reason, actually two, but the first is more important in the summer to me. Uh, the charging case is really thin compared to like 90% of what's out there because some of them make it look like you got a boner in your pocket. And they sound pretty good, not fantastic or great, but pretty good. The highs are balanced, not too crispy. The lows are deep, but don't have much punch. It has ambient pass-through sound, which helps in, you know, not getting hit by a car. They're really comfortable to wear and they don't get loose even when I'm sweating. Uh, the battery life's nuts. You get 11 hours on the buds and another 11 hours from the case. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just check a lot of boxes for me when it comes to earbuds that fit comfortably into my pocket. And the phone I'm using to connect to the Galaxy Buds with is the OnePlus 8 Pro, which I replaced my Pixel 4 XL with as my main phone. I just love the display. The camera setup's awesome and Oxygen OS is really well optimized with a lot of user customizable options you don't normally see in most mainstream phones. Now, like I said at the beginning, I'll rotate through all these items depending on what I have planned for the day. Like I don't just chuck all this shit in my pocket and head out, but yeah, this is the stuff I'll take with me during the hot months when I'm wearing shorts or even swim shorts if I'm headed to the lake. I'll just toss what's in my pocket and my shoes before I jump in. So there you go. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or which item was your favorite, but I think that does it for this one. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, maybe show me some love with that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. But as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.